Hello everyone, my name is Peter. I am from the supportzone.com and the purpose of the supportzone.com is to offer bookkeeping services to small business owners. And with the help of today's video, we are going to see how we can uninstall and reinstall Quicken. And the purpose of making this video, recently one of my clients was having some technical issue when he was trying to pull a Quicken and he was completely stuck with this kind of an issue. Like whenever he was trying to click on the desktop Quicken icon, Quicken flash for a one second or two and then went down it was not pulling up and i tried several troubleshooting steps and somehow we were able to cut the problem fix okay so with the help of today's video i'm going to show you how you can uninstall quicken and then reinstall it back so first in order to uninstall quicken one thing which is very important that before you uninstall quicken please do create a backup of your quicken data file okay there are two situations so first situation if you can can open quicken please go ahead and do create a backup whenever possible for you second thing if you cannot create uh, i mean if you cannot open quicken okay so please ensure that you have old backups available into your computer okay so i'll show you how you can pull up the old backups files into your computer if you do not know the exact location where the files are getting backed up every time when you close quicken so first in order to back up the file you need to go to file menu and go Go to copy or backup file and then choose create a complete backup and then you can click on save backup and with the help of this you can see the location of your backup file where the file will, will be going to backup okay so if you would like to add a date as well like so the date will going to be there as well when you will going to create a backup okay so if you would like to do it just click on save backup right so it will start creating a backup file and once it is done you will be able to see this notification all right let's click on okay so this is the situation when you can open quicken let's say if you cannot open quicken on your computer so what you need to do you need to go to file explorer okay and then go to this pc and then search for star.qdf okay i can mention this thing okay star.qdf qdf is an extension of quicken data file and whenever you enter this it will pull up all the information which you have available onto your computer all right so like that's how you can pull up the backup or you can create a backup file of your quicken data so i'm just going to minimize it okay and now i'm going to uninstall quicken and in order to uninstall quicken let me go ahead and open the control panel window so i go here and simply search control and uh, i go to programs and futures and i search you can see the list of programs look for quicken and then click on uninstall and click on yes and then click on yes again and then it will going to take a couple of minutes to uninstall the quicken from your computer so let's quickly go ahead and wait for this one also in the meantime quicken is getting uninstalled i just want to let you know that i am a bookkeeper i'm a remote bookkeeper i help lines with quicken and quicken software along with the bookkeeping as well in case you're looking for some kind of a help or a bookkeeping help related to quicken or a quickbooks please do reach out to me you can see my contact information here and uh, this is my website this is my contact number you can dial me on this number and this is my email so you can reach me directly on my email okay all right so quicken is also uninstalled from the computer okay so in order to reinstall it back it's going to work in the same way as you download and install quicken on your computer for the very first time like that's how it will going to work when we will when we say reinstalling it back okay so in order to reinstall it back let me go ahead and open the browser window and go to quicken.com and when you go to quicken.com you can go to sign in at the top and then click on sign in here under my account okay once you log in here enter your registered email address okay all right and let me enter the password here okay password is entered and let me go ahead and quickly enter the pass i mean the six digit code that they just sent us uh, i mean to send to me on my direct cell phone number all right okay i'm sorry i just entered it incorrectly here we go okay so i am here into my quicken account now let me go ahead and scroll the window down and click on quicken or window here okay you can see quicken start to download and uh, i will also going to show you how i will going to uh, restore the data file as well onto the computer uh, i mean onto the quicken along with that uh, i will show you the complete process how you can reinstall it okay so as quicken is downloaded now let's quickly go ahead and install it back on the computer let me click on yes like uh, for the video purpose i did not restart my computer but 
but my suggestion would be once you uninstall Quicken uh, from your computer, restart your computer and then reinstall back, uh, reinstall your Quicken back. Okay, that's how you can do it. Okay, so let me click on install here and now you can see installing Quicken. I also created one video like a couple of days ago where I show a complete process to download and install Quicken on your computer. If you would like to see that video, the same video link is also mentioned in the description box below. Also, I have created a complete playlist of Quicken tutorials. The link of the same, you can say playlist, is also mentioned in the below description box. You can check it out as well. Okay, all right, here it is installing Quicken. All right, you can see it here. Quicken is back now on the desktop screen, and here it is downloading and installing all kind of latest updates and all these perfect. And it may not take this long on your end or on your computer. It is totally depends on your computer performance. My computer is kind of you can say old now it is more than five years old now so that could be one of the reasons it is taking some time to install or update quicken but generally when i work with my clients it generally does not take this kind of a long because most of my clients when they purchase new computer they call me and they want to transfer the quicken from one computer to the another one i will also create a dedicated video about that how you can move the quicken from one computer to the another like by from windows to windows i will also create one more video where you can convert your quicken file from quicken windows to quicken mac so quicken from mac users will be able to see how they can um, move their data windows operating system to the mac operating system i see all right it is taking kind of a long to install it on the computer let's see all right so you can see here the installation is complete and now we can launch quicken here and done all right quicken is about to be open now okay here we go all right quicken pulled up the data file automatically i believe because i can see the name of the data file at the top here where it says quicken 2024 because that is the name of my data file if you can see here it is completely like it was showing me and then it will gonna ask me for the sign-in information i believe right that what they are asking so let me click on this because they pulled up my email i mean the registered email address let me enter the uh you can say quicken password here in order to log in to my quicken data file so here we go and they just send me again a new six digit code let me go ahead and enter that in that is here perfect all right so you can see quicken file is set up again i just click on done and you can see here my file is back on track again here okay there are some times when we need to uninstall and reinstall quicken uninstall and reinstall quicken does not lead the data loss okay it, it is always suggested is to create a backup when you are trying to or when there is a need to uninstall quicken but let's say if quicken is unable to pull up there is something like that there are some time when quicken is still unable to open so in that kind of a situation you cannot create a backup so and um, like you can contact quicken support regarding it okay you can contact them in case you really want some kind of a help with your bookkeeping you can contact me about that i can really help you out with that i can help you or managing your personal business for every month it depends on you as well i can provide you weekly bookkeeping or a monthly bookkeeping i can keep track of your information like your pnl balance sheet account update and all these things like account reconciliation like the general entries quicken does not have that kind of a functionality but yes there are some other functionalities which i showed in the previous video like how you can send an invoice directly from quicken to your clients if you would like to see that video uh, you can click on the description below you would be able to find that video as well okay so as the file is restored so this was it and uh, we can see or with the help of this video you got to know how you can uninstall and reinstall quicken back onto your computer okay so one more time in case you're looking for some help related to your quicken or a quick software along with your bookkeeping along with your bookkeeping need you can contact me this is my website this is my phone number you can call me on this phone number and this is my address in case i'm not available on the phone call you can drop me a voicemail along with your name and the callback number so i can reach you back otherwise you can drop me an email on this email and i will be there for you all right so that was it for this video if you have any doubts any questions please do comment below i will be there to answer them also to like this video subscribe my channel to see the latest updated content about our bookkeeping about financial softwares and all that okay so i will see you in the next one till then have a good one Bye bye